Um, and, and so to, to speak a little bit about the idea of that everyone is migrating, they're just migrating temporally as well as, you know, perhaps spatially. Um, I, I wonder if you can speak a little about the book's central conceit, because Magical Doors, it's, it's a novel that is realist and magical realist at the same time, right? It, it's sort of working in different on different levels, but they create a borderless world um, in which the the migration itself is not is not the center of the narrative's focus, right? You, people sort of push through these doors, and you have this kind of these moments of extreme struggle or kind of moment of rebirth at the very beginning when somebody pushes through the door. But it's really the the leaving and the arriving that's the focus. And so I wonder if you could speak a little about the magical doors as the idea to make a story of migration that sort of cuts the the center of you know the migratory process of sort of trying to cross many borders cuts that out a little bit in favor of a different focus on what migration means well i think that in a sense that it's the two things are related so um, i mean partly what was interesting to me about thinking of everybody as a migrant is that is that you can start to break down this binary of sort of native and migrant and you can say that perhaps actually what we're looking at really is, is a misunderstanding or conflict between two different kinds of migrant. Um, you know, one migrant who stayed in the same place geographically, but has moved through time and is somehow unmoored by the changes that they're seeing. Another one who's moved through geographies. Um, and so perhaps it's a failure to understand one another that can be addressed as opposed to some fundamental difference in type of person which condemns us to conflict. And um, that also relates to the choice of using these doors. Let's say that Nadia stepped through these doors and wind up in different places and millions, billions of people begin to do the same and centuries of migration occur in just a year or two. Um, I think for me, part of the appeal of that was that, uh, you know, we, we can sometimes use the journey as a way of defining a person as being different from ourselves. So I never crossed the Mediterranean in a small you know, rubber dinghy. You know, I never crawled under the fence, you know, on the US-Mexico border and then made my way through, you know, a desert uh, before reaching some degree of safety. You know, I never trekked up from Central America or Sub-Saharan Africa or wherever. And, um, and so we say, well, I didn't do those things. So I'm not that sort of person. Um, and I thought, you know, so much of our stories it seems in our reporting uh, covers that moment, the moment you know, of departure and arrival and the journey between the two. But in most people's lives, that's just a very small part of the life. Most of their life was living someplace and then living someplace else. And if we consider the story that way, that you were in one place and now you're in a new place, um, the idea is a different kind of person begins to dissolve. So I've lived, you know, most of us, unless we live in our parents' houses till the end of our days, most of us at some point grow up and leave our parents' houses. So we all used to live somewhere and now live somewhere else. And, um, and in a sense, the, the feeling of having been in one place, living one way and then the other, that's something that we can all relate to. And so I guess for me, the doors were a way to reframe the way that we look at people. Not to say that these journeys aren't important and aren't, and aren't frequently you know, horrific or even deadly, because they are important and they are horrific and they are, are deadly. And the ways in which they are made horrific and deadly certainly deserve our attention and need to be addressed. But in terms of the human beings, um, a person who lived in one place and now lives in another, to me, hopefully was a way to move away from this being a different kind of person. And I think also to be true to the essence of the story, which really, you know, the, the journey was something forced upon a person to get from place to place. It may not be defining of that person in the same way that their former home and subsequent home are. Uh, so I just thought, I think sometimes what fiction can do is it can just slightly skew the way we look at things. And when we look at things in a slightly skewed way, we see them afresh. And I thought by, in a sense, taking away the part of the story that we tend to focus so much on, Maybe we could see people differently before and after they migrate. 